if you've got some painting to do, you could pry off the lid and work directly out of the can, giving yourself away as a complete amateur who doesn't know what he's doing. But there's a better way. Professional painters almost never work out of the paint can for a couple of reasons. First of all, there's typically too much paint in the can. You really only want about an inch and a half of paint in the can. Secondly, the lip of the can gets in the way when they're loading the brush. So what they do is they make what's called a cut bucket. They go to the paint store and for a couple of bucks they buy an empty paint can and then they simply remove the inside rim, turning it into the perfect tool for painting. Here's how you remove the lid. Now, some painters will use their 5-in-1 tool as a kind of crude can opener, but it turns out that a conventional can opener works just fine. You put the can opener on the can like you would a can of beans, and you start cranking it around. Once you get to the end, there might be a little sharp edge, what some painters call a knuckle ripper. Then you get a 5-in-1 tool and bend that over, and you're ready to start painting. Now, if it turns out that your paint can only has an inch or two of paint in the bottom of it, you can simply use that can, remove the rim, and that works just fine as a cut bucket, too. That's a tip I learned from Brian Doherty, a painter in Richmond, Virginia. Brian, thanks for sending that in.